There she Ooh, is. Yeah. I she Queen. My daughter got me into bees. Uh, she talked a lot about uh, her worry that there aren't enough pollinators around. And if you go for a walk and look at the flowers, you will notice there's not many bees buzzing around. There's not much of anything buzzing around, and that's worrisome. Other people have other family pets. Uh, I have my honeybees. I am very for it because I know the fact that if the honeybee itself dies, not that much longer after the honeybee disappears, mankind will go with it as well. People just don't understand how important that little creature is to uh, not even just the economy, but uh, the whole ecosystem itself. There's so much that one could learn about the average honeybee that it would be impossible to fit into a segment without taking up a lot of time. But one fact, and maybe the most important thing to know about these insects, is they play a huge role in everyone's day-to-day -day lives. We need as many uh, bees or, and pollinators as we can. And the honeybee itself is not native to North America. So certainly in this part of Northern Ontario, it's all people who farm the bees and, and winter them over is, is what, you, what you see. What I, we do see around in northwestern Ontario is we have some of the, the nicest and the healthiest bees. We don't have a lot of the same pests and trouble with monoculture and the use of severe pesticides. We're sort of geographically isolated where you can have bees and uh, be quite separated from a lot of the major agriculture or from a lot of other beekeepers. And we don't have people transporting bees in massive loads back and forth through this part of the country. So you're, we sort of keep to ourselves and we keep, if the pests can stay out, then we tend to do pretty well. It's been um, an enjoyable experience, lots of learning and quite calming. We like to just sit out here on the bench and just watch the bees come and go. And uh, they don't seem to bother us if we don't bother them. It's very educational. I find it very therapeutic. It's, uh, it's very relaxing for myself. It gives me something to do on my downtime. Uh, my son's enjoying it as well. He's with me and it's a nice way to teach him a good work ethic and also to raise some money, do whatever he wants. It's a job for us. With so much in the news on the decline in the bee population, what can people do to help these important insects? Let your dandelions grow. Uh, don't use uh, your household pests and chemicals. Uh, plant bee-friendly gardens and you know, your flowers. It's not just for the honeybees, but also for the native pollinators like the bumblebees and solitary bees. Uh, if you check out, look on the internet, it's very simple to make a, a bee house for solitary bees and mason bees just to encourage them to be around your garden and you'll find that your cucumbers and your tomatoes do much much nicer once you've got lots of pollinators. Uh, by not spraying uh, herbicides or pesticides, uh, being aware even when they plant a seed uh, from a seed company, you know, they should find out whether or not it's been coated with uh, neonicotinoids or talk to their um, the owners or the managers of the uh, local greenhouses to see you know how they got their stock. With so much information out there on bees and beekeeping, one of the best ways to find out more information is to talk to a local beekeeper. In Dryden, a great place to start is to visit the Cloverbelt Beekeepers Association page on Facebook. The thing with having honeybees, uh, we go and inspect them. As you saw tonight when we went and did the inspection, they, they weren't even bothering us even at that time. And, that's the big misconception, like I say to people, is that they're this big stinging thing and they think they're the, the killer bees and so forth like that. And it's just not, it's not correct at all. It's just, there's a false sense that uh, people have about bees and I wish people would get a little educated and come to the clover belt and talk to one of us. Uh, we go to the schools, we educate kids and tell them the importance of bees, give them a little bit of honey. Uh, kids just love it and it's a, it's a great way to educate people. For Go in Dryden, I'm Tommy Johnson.